Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. And together we are KK Crochet. Welcome back to Nostalgic Christmas 23. And you're going to see several of um, several videos throughout this month where we are dressed the same. Um, while I have everything pulled out and we've worked on everything, I'm trying to do some mass recording to make it easier in the process, right? And you will see some later where we're dressed different because I don't have everything completed yet. So we're just doing the first few. What you're going to see is 12 days of memories and each video is going to be a video of a crocheted project um, and a couple of crocheted projects actually because I've got one that's on ongoing and then one that's new each time and then you're going to hear about some traditions, some things we've done that we enjoy that we continue to do, um, some memories from my past or the kids past and some ornaments that mean something to Kristen that tell a little bit about our family history or traditions and whatever else we think about at Christmas like we were sitting here earlier and Kristen said oh are you going to talk about this and that because I really want to talk about that so who knows what we're going to end up doing you're going to see a lot of Christmas this month you're going to see a lot of things that um, we find interesting and that we enjoy during Christmas right and so this time we're going to talk about the, this, yep, and as you can see, this is a candle, and if you are old enough, if you are Gen X, you will know this candle very well, and you will remember that they are, they are called a blow mold. A blow mold is a plastic representation. It could be Christmas, but I've seen them for all holidays that has a light up inside that um, you plug in and it glows, right? And you see Santa Clauses and you can find jack-o'-lanterns like that. And there was a specific candle just like this that I had when I was growing up. We had two of them and my mom and dad always had them. This is one thing that was my mom's favorite. Um, my dad was the Christmas nut like I am, but my mom loved these candles for some reason. And I don't know what it was about them, but they were very precious to me. And they stood, I don't know, maybe three, three, four foot tall. I just remember they were so beautiful. So this is a pattern that I found um, online. And let me see where my notes are so I can explain to you what I did. Here we go. All right. I found this online. I will put it in the description box so that you can see it. I used a G hook and when it talked about the pillar portion, this red portion, I expanded it to 10 or 12, 12 lines or 10 or 12 rows back and forth. Um, I can't remember what theirs was, but it was less than that. And I also, um, for the first two rows, I used white and they did not, they used red. And then I expanded this to like 10 or 12, however far you need it to be. And I did the other stuff the same, except I um, stitched on the word Noel, and I stitched on this little star. And once I show you this picture, maybe you'll understand why. And I do need to put felt on the back of that, but um, here's one picture. This is of me. That Miss Piggy right there was the love of my life at the time. I loved Miss Piggy very, very much. And I loved also, that was a bank, and I also loved that lamp right there that was my mother's. I had that for the longest time, and it broke, or got broken not too very long ago. But you see the top of that candle right there? You can see how that's made. And then in this picture, you can see me and my dad, and you can really see the candle, and you can see that it says Noel, and it has the drippy wax on the top, and it has the little um, white splats come down through there. I did stars on mine. And if you could see the bottom, you would see that it had a white bottom too. So I really, really wanted to do one of these. I couldn't find one that looked like it. The original candle that I saw for this one was probably only about this tall. So I did add the white bottom. I went up farther with the red. And then I did everything the same for the, um, the wax dripping and the um, flame. But then I stitched on the word Noel, just basic stitching, nothing. It's just basic, just the shape of the letters, right? And then I did the uh, six point, hold on, I'm trying to fix it. Eight point, sorry. I did the eight point Bethlehem star. So that's what I did. I really, this was very important to me in my life when I was growing up. And I always remember this. We also had a Santa Claus, so it's story time. 
We also had a Santa Claus, which I've not been able to find a replica of and would love to have. I do have one that belonged to my, my husband's mother, grandmother, sorry. But my dad and mom had one that had a sack at the bottom of his feet. And if I'm not mistaken, he was standing with his finger aside of his nose, because you know, up the chimney he rose. And I thought it had a doll in it, a D-O-L-L doll. But I cannot find one. Like, I'm thinking when I see it, it's going to spark a memory and I'm going to fall in love and immediately have to buy it. And that's probably true. But I can't find one. And I don't know if, like, ours was so old that they just don't have the reproductions of them. Or the older ones have all, you know, disappeared. I found so many variations I could not believe it. Because a few years ago I went on this hunt and all my friends were like, oh, we'll help you find one. We'll help you find one. They were looking everywhere, and they would all send me these constant pictures of blow molds of Santa Claus. I never was able to find it. I don't know if maybe I just don't remember. I thought the bag was green, and it had a doll sticking up out of the top, and maybe a dog. I'm not sure. I thought you said it was a teddy bear, but that could have just been me. Could have been all of them. One of them or does have maybe, a teddy bear. I think that may be the one that we have that yeah. isn't it. There are tons of them, and they are my they favorite are. thing in the world when it comes to, well, I have lots of favorite things when it comes to Christmas. Guys, the things that mean so much to me are the things from my childhood, and I've tried to show those and talk about those with my kids because they were so, they left such an imprint on my life. It was what we did at Christmas. We didn't have a lot of money growing up. We were very poor. At Christmas, if I got, you know, um, when I got older, when I got, like, probably after my brother moved out. Now, when I was little, you can see there were lots of presents under the tree when we were doing these pictures. But I don't remember having lots of stuff then either. It was probably the dilemma that I have. When your kids are little, you can buy more. Their toys don't cost as much usually. When they get older, that's harder to do because big kid toys cost a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. So when I got older and it was just me at home with my parents, we would get one present a year. And that present usually was about $100. I remember one year um, that it was a boombox for me. And I actually have, I don't know where it's at, somewhere I have a boombox ornament the, the that hand. I got for that very reason because it reminds me of that and it makes me very happy. So I was thankful for whatever we got, right? So I've tried to teach my kids about those things that, don't have to do with money. Yes, they get presents, but I try to teach them about the family things that mean the most. And the so, for the season. Right. So, we had a Santa blow mold. At one point, we had a snowman one, but that wasn't for a long period of time. It was later on. We had both the Noel candles, and then my dad was a carpenter at one point, and he would make a wooden star that would hang up. We had a big picture window in the living room, and he would make this big wooden star, and he would place lights all the way around the star and put it in the window to light up to represent Jesus and the northern star, right? So, or star of Bethlehem, sorry. Um, so, I remember that, and I remember about the Santa Claus, the reason it means so much to me. My dad was probably all of five foot one, five foot two. <laughs> he wasn't a very big man. Um, he called, they called him Shorty for a reason. I take after him and he would heft this Santa Claus that was probably about four foot up to the top of the house and tie him to the chimney and light him up every year and what was so fantastic about that is to keep him from blowing off the roof dad filled the bottom of him with gravel and so a blow mold is empty in the middle except for the light, and it has just, you know, empty space. So he filled it with gravel. He would heft that thing up to the top of the roof every year, tie it to the chimney, and light it up. I don't know how he did it to this day, but I will never forget it. It is one of my greatest memories of Christmas. It brings me such joy to see those Santa blow molds and to think about him doing that all the time. And I know he did that for me. Um... And that was very precious. I'll never forget it. It was um, a very important thing, especially when you don't have a whole lot. And um, one of the other things that um, means so much to me when it comes to my dad is 
there, there was a song by uh, Merle Haggard called If We Make It Through December. And it talks about a man who is down on his luck and having a hard time making it through December just to live. And it was one of my dad's favorite songs. And I know it was because lots of times Christmas was going to be hard and life was hard in general. And when my dad passed away and I was driving home that day, um, he was in the nursing home and there was a rainbow that came down and it looked like it landed right on top of the nursing home. And as I drove past the song, if we make it through December played on the radio and that was December, um, 16th, of course it was Christmas time, but it played on the radio out of the blue. And every time I hear that song, it reminds me of my dad. So those are things that are very important to me. And then I will share my last piece and I'll let Kristen do hers. This is uh, a double crochet with red heart metallic white, the Christmas chain for the Christmas tree, and then it has a candle on it like the candle, the Noel candle. We also had candles that we put in the um, windows, candelabras that we put in the windows, and I always loved those, and we would put, Dad liked to put blue lights in them instead of clear ones, the big blue bulbs that you would get, yeah. I got a little carried away today. This is going to be a long video. A lot of times my memories tend to spill over into other things. And I probably put a bunch together that one day I'll have to say, I've probably already told you this, but here you go. Because we're on day three and I spilled a lot today. So we're going to let Kristen give hers now. Okay. So this is one of those I see it, I have to have it moments. We were walking through Walmart. I think mm -hmm. he came from Walmart. Yeah. And we saw him. Of course, they had their Christmas displays out. And at the time, we had our bandit. And we said we had to have him. So now, anytime we see a Boston Terrier or anything, we say bandit. But now we're going to say bandit hot rod because we have another one. And that means a lot to me. We lost bandit two years ago in September, so that's why. But we now feel like we have an open heart to be able to accept another one. So we have the Christmas hot rod. Yes, we do. He's sleepy. So that's our nostalgic Christmas 23 for today. Oh, we forgot to say one tradition that you like. Oh, my, probably one of my favorites is we load up in the car, we go to a go mart, and we get coffee or hot chocolate, and we drive around the places we live, and we look at the lights. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites, too. My dad and mom always loved to take us and show us the Christmas lights, so it's something we've continued. So, at least once a year, we would drive around and look at Christmas lights. We do that more than once a year. We do several times. Because I'm a Christmas fanatic. and They're pretty. We go to all the different th areas to look. So, anyway, that's our Nostalgic Christmas 23 for the day. Don't forget to be kind because... You don't know anybody else? Don't know anybody else's journey. And Merry Christmas. Bye. Christmas.